Holy crap, guys, this is scary. This is the next level of deep fake and no one's safe. A couple of months ago, I showed you a tool called Voice AI, where you can deep fake someone's voice by altering your voice and using a voice profile. Now you can do it faster, more accurately, and I kid you not, using TTS or text-to-speech. You have to try this out, and you won't be able to differentiate between reality and your AI clone anymore. For real. Don't believe me? This entire intro was done using Eleven Labs text-to-speech. I'm not kidding. This is not me speaking. This is my cloned voice using this tool. What you're hearing now is a text-to-speech script, and if I wasn't the one who wrote this script, I would think I actually said it at one point in my life. The level of accuracy of this tool is totally next-level technology. It sounds a bit monotone, though, but I'm sure they will improve on that as this software is already ahead of its time. All right, back to me again, and it's crazy that I actually have to say that to differentiate between the TTS software to -to text-to-speech and and myself speaking into a mic. I mean, there's a little bit more personality when I speak, but not, not too much, right? I'm pretty monotone. But there's some people that are really monotone, so you wouldn't be able to tell any difference between this text-to-speech and themselves. And so you can actually give it a little bit of personality. We'll go into that in a second. But this was really easy to do. It took me like a minute, maybe a minute of my speech to put in here, and it was able to clone every single word. I could actually not do any more recording through the mic and just do text-to-speech the whole time. It is it is so insane. And if you haven't heard yourself been cloned before, your voice, it is pretty pretty mind-blowing and scary because it's it's almost like it took my soul it, it's it's that creepy before i show you where to go and where to get this tool i'm going to show you just uh, the same thing but in different languages so i'm going to do the first part in spanish and i'm going to do the second part in filipino and then i try a german version for the second part as well and let's check out how it sounds all right here it goes na santo chico de mierda esto da miedo este es el siguiente nivel de deep fake y nadie a salvo Hace un par de meses te mostré una herramienta llamada Hay de Voz donde puedes falsificar profundamente la voz de alguien alterando tu voz y usando un perfil de voz. Ahora puedes hacerlo más rápido, con mayor precisión y no bromeo. Usando TTS o texto a voz, no me crees, toda esta introducción se realizó utilizando Eleven Labs texto a voz. No estoy bromeando, este no soy yo hablando. Esta es mi voz clonada usando esta herramienta. Ok, now in German. Was si jetzt horen ist ein text-to-speech script Und wenn ich nicht der Geniger wäre, der dieses Skript geschrieben hat, wurde ich glauben, dass ich es tatsächlich einmal in meinem Leben gesagt habe, da genau ich geht dieses Tools ist, nachste ebene im Grunde. Es klingt zwar ein bisschen monoton, aber ich bin sicher, dass sie das verbessern werden, da diese Software ihrer Zeit bereits voraus ist. Alrighty, now in Filipino. Ang naririnig mo ng gayon ay text to speech script at kung hindi. Ako ang sumulat ang script na ito ay isipin kong sinabi ko talaga ito sa isang punto ang buhay ko. Ang antas ang katumpakan ang tool na ito ay susunod antas talaga. Ito ay medyo monotone ngunit sigurado akong pagbubutihin nila iyon dahil ang software na ito ay nauna na sa oras. That, that was pretty amazing to hear myself speaking Spanish 100 miles per hour. I, I I barely know any Spanish, so there's no way I would be able to do that. Can you imagine where this is going? You can take your YouTube transcript and throw that into Google Translate, and then you can just put it in this tool, and then you could translate everything and then have your audience from other countries listen to you with your voice in their language, in their native language. And that's amazing. That's That's how you connect with people. Think about the opportunities this will have in the business world. You can talk to people with your voice in their language. That's huge. That would be so much better than the robotic voice. I mean, I'm sure you all agree. I used to have the robotic meme voice. I, I thought it was funny, the Daniel meme voice, but apparently not a lot of people like that voice. But imagine doing it in your own voice in a different language. Wild. I mean, you don't have to imagine because you have this tool, but imagine like it being live. Like when you talk, it translates and it probably could because this tool is so fast. I mean, throwing in Google Translate and then putting it in this thing would take like, it takes like maybe 30 seconds, but it could probably be a lot faster in the future. Actually, imagine inserting a word you messed up from your YouTube video or even entire sentences. I actually just did that right now. And this is my voice clone going back to my voice.
Let's take a look at the tool I use. The tool I was using was from 11labs.io and currently it's in beta, which is crazy because it's it's almost perfect. But if you wanna get signed up, just go ahead and click on either your Google account or your Facebook account and you can sign in with that. I'm gonna use my Google account since that's what I signed up with. So just click on, I agree to the terms of service and you don't need to receive product updates and then click on Google. Then it'll take you to a pricing plan screen. If it doesn't take you here, you can go to profile and then you could click on subscription. For you, it might say pricing. Go ahead and click on that and it'll bring you here. There is a free plan that'll give you a chance to play with this tool and you get 10,000 characters per month and it gives you the voices that they select for you. So you won't be able to clone your own voice with the free plan, but you'll be able to play with this tool. And if you go to the bottom here, so it says you got 10,000 characters per month and there's a little estimator here. And if you put one 10 minute voiceover, it shows that the estimate is about 10,000 characters, but that's a, a rough estimate. I'd say nine minutes, plan for nine minutes. And the only problem is when you make a mistake, it doesn't give you the time back. Once you click generate, it's generated and those characters are gone. The crazy thing, it also gives you API access and English seems to be the only language. So I'm not sure why it's kind of listed each of these, except for the enterprise version, which I don't know what that means. But uh, yeah, if anybody got the enterprise version, let me know. The API access will give you the ability to integrate this to whatever software or product website that you're working with. So that's pretty cool that they allow you to mess with that and see how it would look like on your final product. Let's take a look at some of the paid plans. So the first one is the starter, and that's what I have. That's what I'm subscribed to. It says here for the first month is 80% off. And I actually thought it was free. I, I don't remember paying for the first month, but I guess it says 80% off here. So what it includes, the first one is the long form speech synthesis, which is the text to speech. And it says commercial license included, which is important because that's how you make money. And in the first one, the free plan, you don't get that. Also notice in the free plan, there's attribution to 11 labs is required. So in some shape or form, you have to say this is 11 labs or put it in your video description. If you click on the information button, you'll get more information on how to provide attribution. Next is the character limit is 30,000 instead of 10,000, which is is kind of okay. I mean, that's 25 to 30 minutes about, but to tell you the truth, you're going to mess up. You're going to make a typo like I do, well, maybe not, but I make a lot of typos and I waste my characters because once you click generate, that's it. Those characters are gone. So now here's the real bread and butter, the create up to 10 custom voices. So this is why you would actually go to the paid plan and the $5 plan, because this is where the power lies. You want to create a custom voice. You want to hear yourself being typed out, or you want to hear somebody else's voice just masterfully being cloned and just blow your mind. And it's, it's pretty insane. So this is why I got the $5 plan. I'm going to go over the other plans real quickly and just briefly mention the price and also the differences of what it offers. So the first one is the creator plan, $22 a month, and it gives you about two hours of audio, 100,000 characters. And the cool thing, this is when it starts to give you that soft cap. So any additional usage based characters are 30 cents per 1000 characters. So I mean, anytime you get to your max amount of characters, which is 100,000 in this case, every 1000 characters you go over, you pay 30 cents. So that's cool. You don't just get cut off and you get 30 custom voices now. So now with the independent publisher, the $99 plan, you get 500,000 characters, which is about 10 hours. And it's about 24 cents when you go over those 10 hours per thousand characters. And now you can create up to 60 voices. For the growing business, it's $330 and then you get 2 million characters per month, which is insane. That's 40 hours of generated audio. If you go over that time, it's 18 cents per thousand characters. And now you can create 120 voices. The last one's the enterprise plan and it says, let's talk. That's the price. Actually, it says it starts at 500, but it's probably going to go up from there depending on your business, what you're doing with it and how much you're doing with it. And one thing I noticed though, it says professional voice cloning. So what is the difference between professional voice cloning? and the voice cloning us peasants get with the other plans. I wonder, but I don't know any more than that. So I'm not going to make any more guesses or speculation what you get with the enterprise plan. All right, now that you know how much it costs, let's have some fun with this tool. So the first thing we're going to do is just regular speech synthesis. So if you have the paid plan, you won't be able to clone voices, but you will be able to use some of these uh, voices here. So I'm going to choose Bella. So let's put my name is Bella. This is one of my pre-made voices that you get with the free plan. So let's generate it and see how long it takes. It, my it name is Bella, and this is one of the pre-made voices you get with the free plan. So... <laughs> I wasn't even finished talking. It took like less than a second to generate the sentence. So it's almost immediate. Let's try a new one and say something else. So let's try Arnold. All right, here we go. 
Clicking generate. My name is Arnold and I'm free to use with the free plan. I don't know why Arnold sounded so mad. I'm going to be honest. These last two voices kind of sounded like something you can just get from ClipChamp, which is the free Microsoft video editing tool, which has some TTS features on there. And uh, I'll probably show you at the end of the video. If you want another option, you can go to ClipChamp, but they're not too impressive. They're not as impressive as the clone voices. The clone voices sound like, like real as hell. Let's take a look at some of the features here. And if you click on the drop down box, you can see all your clone voices at the top. And then you can see the pre made voices, which aren't so good. Um, but the, the clone voices are pretty amazing. I did one of Asthma Gold, and it sounds exactly like him. So let's try that out right now. All right, so I set up a little script for Asthma Gold here. And if you know this dude, this is like the opposite of what he's like. So I just thought it would be fun to hear him say this. But. Let's look at something really quickly here. If you look at voice settings, it's very important that you take a look at these information pop-ups because this is gonna help you make the AI sound a little bit more human and less monotone. All right, taking a look at the stability range here. So if you look at the left side, it says more variable. So the more you slide it to the left, the more variability you'll get, the more personality you're gonna get. So I like to put it like around 30%, but it's really up to you because if it starts sounding a little weird and he's doing like question marks in the middle of the sentence, then you might wanna slide it up a little bit. But I would recommend trying a few sentences, maybe one sentence on the extremes, maybe like 20% and 80% to see how that voice reacts. Next, you have clarity and similarity enhancement. So you have the high and the low side. So the high side will give you more clarity, but at the same time, if you start hearing like zip, zip, the robotic voices, that's because when you did the, the voice cloning, there was some noise introduced in the background and that could actually be coming out in the clarity. So if that happens, you're gonna have to slide it down just a little bit, but I'd recommend starting around like 80, 75% and then just sliding it down if, if you run into any trouble. But always test the sentence first because you know this, this goes away. The characters disappear as soon as you click generate. No second chances. Just for context, I'm gonna show you a short clip of Asthma Gold so you can determine if it sounds like him with the clone voice. Big Dicka, it's too big in my opinion. Nope, looks good to me. All right, let's click generate and see what it gives us. This is a cloned voice of Asmund Gold, if you know anything about me. I love playing support classes in MMORPGs, the sense of fulfillment I get when I heal. Another teammate is otherworldly. Speaking of the divine, Paladin is my favorite class in World of Warcraft, hands down, and when I play Paladin, I use a sword and board. I don't get why people use two-handed swords. Large two-handed great swords are for losers. I don't get why anyone would choose someone with a big sword and bulky armor. I like light armor and daggers. Yep. That was pretty good. And um, if you know Asmogold, you probably know he would never say that. And it's, it's pretty funny to hear him say that. But let's try something. Let's lower the stability all the way down to 18%. And we're going to raise the clarity to 91% and try that out and see the differences that it gives us. This is a cloned voice of Asmongold. If you know anything about me, I love playing support classes in MORPGs. The sense of fulfillment I get when I heal another teammate is otherworldly. Speaking of the divine, Paladin is my favorite class in World of Warcraft. Hands down. And when I play Paladin, I use a sword and board. I don't get why people use two-handed swords. The large two-handed great swords are for losers. I don't get why anyone would choose someone with a big sword and bulky armor. I like light armor and daggers. Yep. Immediately, you can tell the difference here. And you can even hear some of the, the stressing of words like big. And then at the end where he said, I like light armor, not dag and daggers. And so you can really see that the personality is starting to come out. And also there's some like minor defects. So it actually introduced noise. So there was a part where he was breathing and he kind of slipped on a word. It's pretty crazy. It sounds even more real with, with those little errors and the breathing. It's crazy. Let's try some voice cloning. So the first way to do it would be to click on the voice lab here and go to voice cloning. And that's one way to do it. And then check it out. There's a voice design coming February. So that's cool. You can design an entirely new voice using the generative model that they have. That would be pretty interesting to create. It would be so cool if you're developing something like a story and you have multiple characters or a video game and you could just create different voices for that character. This is next level stuff. It says coming February. It's February 18th. So I don't know. Is that tomorrow or... I it should be coming out soon. I'm definitely going to try that out and show you guys. So the other way to do it is to click on add voice down here. So that's the way that I do it seems to be the easiest. And then you can go here and click 
add instant voice. But before we do that, check this out. So it says instant voice cloning. So that's the regular one that we use and that's dropping a clip or speaking into a mic for it to capture your voice. But the other way is professional cloning. So I guess this answers our question about what does professional cloning mean? So that was with the enterprise license and it says exact voice and any accent reproduction, which is pretty insane, right? Subject to copyright license. There it says available on enterprise plans. So let's click on add instant voice. And then now we just have to name it and then drop a clip in here and then click I confirm all the stuff down here. All right, I uploaded my clip and gave it a name and now I'm gonna click add voice. If you don't know who Red Pepper is, he sounds like Don LaFonte and he does movie previews for blockbuster movies. Now I'm gonna go back to speech synthesis at the top, click on that, and then I'm gonna choose the voice actor that I just cloned, Red Pepper, and then I'm gonna put in a little script here. To do this, I'm gonna use GPT-4 on Microsoft Bing's new chat features. If you haven't seen how to use this, check out my video on this. It'll, it'll be in my video description, but click on chat here after you get access to it. And then you can type something here. So this is like chat GPT, but it works with the internet. Let me type in something. If you didn't know, ChatGPT only gets stuff from 2021 and GPT-4 that works with Edge and your Bing search engine actually gets stuff from the internet, current stuff. It looks it up, crunches it for you, and even gives you the website where it's found. But I will say ChatGPT actually has more functionality in terms of building stuff like programs, but um, GPT-4 is pretty awesome for current information. All right, so I gave GPT-4 something to write. I put, can you make a movie trailer about aliens attacking the island of Guam, but they're huge fluffy bunnies that shoot laser beams from their eyes and no one takes them seriously because they're so cute. There we go. Let's see what it gives us. As you can see, GPT-4 is searching the internet about movie trailers and then it looked for the island of Guam and then it looked for fluffy bunnies and it gave me a script here that I'm going to use for the voice clone. It says, in a world where aliens are real. So it, it got the movie trailer stuff down. And um, let's see here. Or they will fail to victim their irresistible charm. It, it always surprises me what this thing comes up with. Bunny invasion, all, in all caps, coming to a theater near you, which um, I didn't know there was theaters anymore. That's the one thing it got wrong. Just kidding about that. All right, so I'm going to copy this and bring it back to 11 labs and just paste it in here and see what we get. I removed all the extra space and just keep in mind those extra spaces are characters. I had to mess with the settings and put exclamation marks at the end of everything here. Let's try that out. It might be a little bit better. The first time I tried it, it was a little weird. Let's see. In a world where aliens are real, one island is about to face the most adorable invasion ever. A U.S. island territory in the Pacific Ocean is under attack by giant, fluffy bunnies that shoot laser beams from their eyes. But no one takes them seriously because they are so damn cute. Will the people of Guam be able to stop these cuddly creatures before they destroy everything? Or will they fall victim to their irresistible charm? Find out in Bunny Invasion, coming soon to a theater near you. That was pretty good. I would watch that movie, but I think that the audio quality wasn't that great because the quality of the input was, wasn't was too good because it's all videos from the 90s. That's all I could find on this guy. So that's all I had for Eleven Labs. But for the people that are looking for something that's a little bit more permanent and you don't want to pay for it, I can show you a free option that you probably already have on your computer. It's called ClipChamp. So if you're not familiar with ClipChamp, it's basically the new movie maker that's free from Microsoft. And most people, I think everybody should have it. Everybody Windows 10 and up, you should be able to just click on your Windows button and then just type in ClipChamp and then it should show up. Then just go ahead and sign in with your Microsoft account. So I'm gonna just click that. And here's your free editor. And all you have to do is just start a new video, click on record and create, and then go to text to speech. And then you can choose whoever you want. And let me give you a sample of what these voices sound like, because they sound pretty good. They even have voices with accents. So let me show you a regular voice first. Let me do one from Britain or United Kingdom rather. So I'm going to use, let's use Abby and let me type something in. All right, so I put in a little script. You can click on preview to play it, or you can click on save media and click on save media and then listen to it. Hello. Hello, my name is Abby and it's so nice to meet you. I bet you didn't know you had a free video editor on your PC that can do text to speech. All right, let's do another one. This one's a child voice. All right, so I wrote something again and let's save this to media and then try this one now. I haven't had a morsel to eat in a fortnight. I am so hungry that I ate my pet rat. I named it David. 
that is gone now. He will be missed and I will always remember him. Oh well. All right, so let's try a, a, one with an accent. So let's try a Filipino accent. Let's do Blessica. Crazy name. It's my couple of lions. Good morning, ma'am, sir. It is great to, to meet you. Can you give me a callback number in the event we get disconnected? Also, uh, my name is Blessica, which is a mix between Bless and Jessica but you can just call me Joy. So the cool thing is you can actually mess with the, the speed of it for each voice has its own speed that makes it sound a little bit more uh, human. So you can even choose voice styles for specific characters. Uh, not this one, but mostly on the English voices, you can choose a voice style. So let's try a voice style real quick. So I'm going to do United States. I'm going to choose try guy and he's going to be terrified. So let's try that out. I created a short script for Guy and I also made him terrified. So let's try this out uh, here. I was walking in the dark and I saw movement in the shadows. My first thought is there was a deer in the brush, but I was regretfully wrong. It was something else, something not of this world or anything I recognize. Let's try a few more examples with the emotions and check them out. I can't find my mom. She hasn't come back in days. I can't find my mom. She hasn't come back in days. I can't find my mom. She hasn't come back in days. I can't find my mom. She hasn't come back in days. I can't find my mom. She hasn't come back in days. I can't find my mom. She hasn't come back in days. I can't find my mom. She hasn't come back in days. Those are just some examples of the voices in ClipChamp and the different kinds of emotions you can give them. You could really play with the speed and the pitch to make them sound human-like. I just use the default option, but it, it's pretty amazing for free. And you can't do the voice cloning like Eleven Labs, but it's a pretty good option. Or if you want Eleven Labs and you want to voice clone and create something amazing or recreate your own voice like I did in the beginning of this video, check out Eleven Labs. But you do have to pay the $5 to do the voice cloning another great option is voice ai to voice clone so you can actually do some voice cloning here for free you can do a free voice changer put it in your discord app and just start talking in a different voice absolutely free and you could also create an entire script for free but you have to do it 15 seconds at a time if you got the free plan go check out my video in the video description and you'll learn all about it and how it works how to download it how to get started how to use it on discord check that out. Also check out my video on GPT-4 and it's going to show you how to get started and get signed up for GPT-4 on Bing using Edge. And this is pretty much like chat GPT, but it's not limited to information from 2021. It will get you the most current information up to date and it'll also give you these links here. So you can click on these links and you can find more information about what it gave you. So it's pretty crazy. And this is going to change the world. This is going to change the way we use the internet. I mean, there's going to be some negative aspects to it because I mean, people make a lot of money from people visiting their sites and now chat gpt4 or gpt4 is going to just get that information so you wouldn't have to visit there anymore but there's just a lot of discussion on that but what it does it just basically does the work for you so instead of reading 10 plus articles for an hour it gives you all that information in seconds so all those videos are in the video description and if you like that kind of content go ahead and subscribe or watch the other videos and if you like those videos too then subscribe if this video helped you out in any way or taught you something new or you think it's of value to other people go ahead and click the thumbs up so we can share this with everybody else in the AI community. This is great stuff and I'd like to share it with as many people as possible. And I also need the thumbs up because I mean, obvious reasons I got a YouTube channel, right? Thanks for watching and take it easy.